really happy to be shopping with you guys. Yeah, my mom said we could wander around freely. She'll be waiting with your moms at the food court. Feel free to call her if anything comes up. I just love the malls during the holiday season. It's so lively and cheerful. Speaking of holidays, which one is your favorite? For me, it's definitely Halloween. It was the most exciting day of the year. This year, I pondered for a long time about what to dress up as. A mummy, a witch, or a vampire. Finally, I decided to dress up as a cute little ghost. All I needed was a white bed sheet and a pumpkin basket to carry my candies. Ding dong, I'm all set. Hmm, seems like it's not eye-catching enough. Let's add a hat. Now I'm a cute little ghost. That evening, I went out with my friends to knock on doors for candy. Every household in the neighborhood has decorated their houses with a perfect Halloween vibe. Trick or treat! Throughout the night, my friends and I laughed and played on the nighttime streets, joyfully exchanging Halloween candy. I got a bucket full of candies and a night full of fun. I just love Halloween so much. Halloween is fun, but Thanksgiving is my favorite. When the farms have a bountiful harvest and the leaves turn red, that's when Thanksgiving arrives. Every Thanksgiving, our family gathers at Grandma and Grandpa's house. They decorate the house so warmly for the holiday. They prepare a Thanksgiving feast with fresh vegetables, delicious turkey, and plenty of desserts. I not only get to enjoy the Thanksgiving dinner, but also share time with family, sharing our love and care for each other. I love both Halloween and Thanksgiving but my absolute favorite is Christmas. It's definitely the most wonderful time of the year. During Christmas, homes are probably at their most beautifully decorated throughout the year. There's joyous music everywhere, and even the air carries the sweet scent of happiness. And that fir tree you see, that's still green in the snow, might become a family's Christmas tree this year. And these aren't even the most exciting moments of Christmas. The happiest part of Christmas is as Santa's gifts. Before Christmas arrives each year, I prepare my list of gifts, noting down what I'd like. On Christmas Eve, I place my list by my bedside. Being a good kid, I know Santa will come to deliver my presents. I wake up early. I can't wait to open my presents. Mom also prepares Christmas cake and hot cocoa for me. Oh, it's such a wonderful day. Yes, Christmas is amazing. Actually, I think I love all holidays. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Oh, and the new year. I really love celebrating the new year too. When it comes to New Year's Eve, what I look forward to the most are the fireworks. Every year, my dad takes me to set off fireworks. They light up the night sky, and it's just so beautiful. I love watching fireworks too. It makes me feel excited and hopeful for the new year. Holidays bring joy to everyone. Look, there's our favorite candy store. looks really pretty. Yes, and they have a wide variety of candies. Oh, where did Lily go? Guys, look! Guess what I found? A pink chocolate egg! That's such a cute little egg. It could be like a bird's egg, or maybe even a snake egg. Or perhaps it's a penguin egg! Ha ha! Or maybe it's an egg from a tiny cat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How could a cat have an egg? Cats are mammals, they don't lay eggs. 
I'm a bit confused. So some animals lay eggs and some don't, right? Right, some animals are viviparous and some are oviparous. Oviparous animals are the ones, um, that hatch from eggs, right? That's right. Oviparous animals usually lay eggs outside and the young animals hatch from these eggs. Viviparous animals are the ones that develop inside the mother's body and are born live. Kittens and puppies are viviparous animals. They grow inside the mother cat and dog and are already quite developed when born. And what about oviparous animals? Can you give us some examples? Of course, like we mentioned earlier, snakes, birds, and penguins. There are also some reptiles that fit in this category. I understand now. Oviparous and viviparous animals have different ways of being born. You're absolutely right. This is the difference between them. Sometimes the lifestyle of animals can be quite different because of this. Awesome! I learned something new today! Hey there! We found the lollipops we wanted, and we stumbled upon this really cute chocolate egg. By the way, did you know? We're not oviparous animals. We don't hatch from eggs. We're viviparous. Oh my goodness! goodness that's so, that's awkward. so awkward! Hey Gigi, do you want to come to the park with me? Oh, not right now. I'm actually learning about comparing numbers at the moment. Need a hand? How about I take you to the Number Kingdom? You might learn faster there. Number Kingdom? Is it as fun as the Alphabet Kingdom we visited before? I'm up for it. Hi, I'm the Prince of Number Kingdom. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Gigi. We're about to have a competition to compare numbers. Are you interested in watching? Awesome! We're really interested! Please take us there! Welcome everyone to the Number Kingdom. Today we're having a competition to compare numbers. Yay! First up, let's have number 1 and number 10 step up for the challenge. Hi everyone, I'm number 1. I might be the smallest number, but I'm the foundation for all the other numbers. Hi everyone, I'm number 10. I'm a two-digit number. Number 1 and number 10, it's time to compare. I think number 10 is much larger than number 1. That's true. Number 10 is 10 times bigger than number 1. Number 10 wins this round of the comparison game. <laughs> Next up, let's welcome number 2 and number 9 to compete. Hi everyone, I'm number 2. I'm just a bit bigger than number 1. Hello, I'm number nine. I'm much bigger than number one. Numbers two and nine. Let's see who's bigger. Although number two is bigger than number one, it's much smaller compared to number nine and number ten. It seems we have a great referee here. You're absolutely right. Number nine wins this round of the comparison. <laughs> Next up, let's welcome number three and number eight to the stage. Hi, everyone. I'm number three, and I'm bigger than number one and number two. Hi everyone, I'm number 8. Hmm, I'm smaller than number 9 and number 10. Guys, who do you think is bigger between number 3 and number 8? I know, 3 is bigger than 1 or 2, but much smaller than 8. Right, number 8 wins this round of the bigger or smaller game. <laughs> Next up, it's numbers 4 and 7. Are you ready? Hello everyone, I'm number 4. Are there any kids here who are exactly four years old? Hello everyone, I'm number seven. Anybody here exactly seven years old? I know Amy and Jack are four years old, but it seems no one is seven. So between four and seven, which number is bigger? Of course seven. Four is bigger than one, two, and three, but seven is bigger than four. My cousin is seven. He's older than me. You got it. Number seven wins this round. We've got our final showdown. Let's welcome numbers five and six. Hi everyone, I'm number five. I'm not a small number, you know. I'm bigger than numbers one, two, three, and four. Hi everyone, I'm number six. 
I'm not a small number either, but I'm smaller than numbers 10, 9, 8, and 7. It sounds like numbers 5 and 6 both have the potential to be larger numbers. This round of the comparison contest is a bit tricky to call. Hey Gigi, what do you think? Which one do you think is bigger, 5 or 6? Um, I feel like they're almost the same. Let me think. We have five fingers on one hand, so we can easily count up to five using just one hand. But for six, I need to add one more finger from the other hand. Ah, I got it. Six is bigger than five. Wow, that's a clever way to look at it. You've made the right call again. Yep, six is just a little bigger than five. Number games are really so much fun, aren't they? Yeah. Prince, are there more numbers? Can we announce the scores now? From 1 to 10, all our competing numbers have finished the competition. While some are bigger and some are smaller, each number is unique. Now let's welcome all the competing numbers. Numbers, please come forward in order from smallest to largest. <laughs> Lily, would you mind announcing the competition results? Of course. One is the smallest positive integer. Two is greater than one. Three is greater than two and one. Four is greater than three, two, and one. Five is greater than four, three, two, and one. Six is greater than five, four, three, two, and one. Seven is greater than six, five, four, three, two, and one. Eight is greater than seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 9 is greater than 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 10 is greater than all the numbers from 1 to 9. The number comparison contest was so much fun. Prince, thank you for taking us to watch the contest. We had a great time. The number kingdom is really fascinating. Hope you've gained something from this journey. Now it's time to head back home. Goodbye. I really love the Number Kingdom. Let's go play there again sometime. Now, I think I can easily finish my homework. Hello kids, hope you guys like our channel. Learning is a fun journey. Here we can learn useful knowledge together. In this episode, we talked about wonderful holidays. Each of us has our favorite holiday. Which holiday do you like the most? I hope you all enjoy every holiday to the fullest. We also learned about which type of animals hatch from eggs and which are born from their mother's bodies. Do you remember what these two types of animals are called? Right, that's correct. They are oviparous animals and viviparous animals. Let me quiz you. What type of animal is a snake and what type is a puppy? You got it. A snake is an oviparous animal. They hatch from eggs. A puppy is a viviparous animal. They are born from their dog moms. The last part is my favorite. We visited the Number Kingdom and learned about the numbers. Did you like the Number Kingdom? I absolutely loved it there. I experienced so much fun with numbers. I will definitely go back. Do you still remember which is the biggest and smallest number from 1 to 10? You got it right! Within the integers from 1 to 10, the smallest is 1 and the largest is 10. Lily, your question was too easy. Let me ask one. Take a look at this sequence of numbers from smallest to largest. Which two numbers are missing? If you don't remember, you can go back and check. Right, we're missing 6 and 8. 6 is bigger than 1. 2, 3, 4, and 5. 8 is bigger than 1 through 7, but smaller than 9 and 10. Subscribe to our channel so you can find us more easily and never miss our updated videos. The story in the next episode is more interesting. See you next time. See you!